We have another horizontal section. This whole stage is horizontal, including the boss. Love the music in this stage. So taking these guys out can sometimes give you fruit, replenish your health. So you have to dodge these asteroids, attacking them will knock them away from you. Um, there are some that are uh, stationary, they're fake, they'll shoot missiles at you. Like that. Sometimes asteroids will uh, surround you like that and just attacking one will uh, get them off of you or get them to stop. Uh, so this guy you just have to attack. He'll start doing other attacks like this laser here which you can uh, move right in between. I got hit once. He has that yo-yo attack too. So Axel's gonna come in here in a second with a giant laser to try to take us out. So you just have to attack these guys a couple times to take them out. That doesn't kill you immediately, but it does a lot of damage. And I believe it'll also uh, kill all the other enemies on the screen too. They'll come in and try to shoot some missiles at us. Yep. Normally you can kill them in uh, two cycles, but not the case today. There we go. Okay, so we have to fight this boss and pretty much not take any damage. It's a giant spaceship. It's very annoying. It has a lot of different phases. You can take out some of these turrets. After a while, it's going to teleport to different locations. I love the sound effect for teleporting. This flap is going to fold down and start releasing enemies at you. Attacking it will not only kill them, but kill that too, pretty quickly. Now the front of the ship, we have to attack under the mouth. I'll open it every few moments to shoot some lasers out. So now the front part's going to disconnect from it. So I have to concentrate on this next part so I don't screw it up. Just have to dodge these guys. I'll have this homing laser that'll come after you. And then you have to hit this orb. And you gotta dodge him here. Normally just stick with the same pattern every time. It takes four or five hits or so.
Five hits. This is the final stage. Right at the beginning we have to fight the pig guy. It's very annoying. I might be quiet for a while. Um, basic strategy is as soon as he lands on the ground, you want to release a shot at him towards his sword. You'll attack him and then he'll jump to the other side, which gives you enough time, most of the time, to charge up and get him again before he um, attacks with his sword. He'll shoot... Um, projectiles at you when he does that. Well, that was the first time I ever saw that. I held the charge for too long. That was interesting. So if you get this pattern going right here, he's really easy. But if you don't, he's really hard. I want to be on this side of him. So when he explodes, all these pieces go everywhere, and they will damage you if they touch you. It's very annoying. He's going to reassemble himself. You just have to attack him again. Um, every once in a while, he'll have a homing attack on you, just like that. Doesn't take too long. That's the first time I've ever beat him without taking a, any uh, damage. Oh, I really love the uh, background of this. It's like a half-assembled uh, robotic uh, pig king. So the ones that are fully made like this will attack you. Uh, I normally just charge at them twice and they'll die. I always love games that end up going into space at the end. As a kid, it was really awesome when I made it to this stage, because I had no idea that the game would go like this. So we have our rival fight here. Um, really, uh, you just have to attack him really quickly. He has the uh, a lot of the same attacks you do, much quicker, of course. Just always attack him. If you don't attack him here, uh, he'll when he jumps over you like that, he'll stop to um, shoot some projectiles at you, which of course you can shoot out of the air and then attack. So he has three phases. That was the first phase. He's going to destroy this wall, and then we have to hang on here. This part can be very annoying. Normally just charge at him. He does shoot some missiles at you. He's gonna come back and be Super Saiyan. At least that's what it looks like. <laughs> Normally just charge up at him. And then get out of the way. Moving up here and pressing the jump button when indicated, and get out of here. We have more of these uh, half-made robots. Well, 
Some of the more tricky ones to take out, like here, I normally let them uh, move up here before I attack them. Well, that's an easy way to get past them. Last section in the game before the final boss, first form. I guess it technically has three forms. So we got kind of low gravity area here. So at the top of your jump, we'll have to release the rocket to get up here. So obviously he's in a sphere. He has eight um, points on him that... uh a target will move out and you have to attack the target. In this first uh, phase he just bounces around. Nothing too difficult. This one he's gonna shoot some lasers at us. Just move out of the way. Pretty easy. Gonna shoot like uh, projectiles at us. So for this phase, I jump over him because he'll target me as if I'm up in the air. Usually, didn't work so well that time. See if we can get it to work. So we'll jump over him. Yep, so he'll target us as if we're up there. Okay, so in this part. Stay over here, when he comes up, jump up, and dash down towards him like that. For this next section, he's gonna start. Uh, shark. He's gonna start shooting uh, projectiles at me, and I have to be really quick. This would be the final boss on Easy and Children. Then the credits would roll. But we have one more boss on Normal and Hard. Um, this is a... I guess you can call it like a passive boss. Um, you don't uh, attack him at all. You just have to survive. For a certain period of time. The Earth's atmosphere is essentially going to kill them. He has a couple of attacks. Nothing too difficult. Dang. You have to time that right, or otherwise he'll uh, get you. He kind of homes in on you. There we go. And you just have to dodge out of the way of his arms. There we 
There we go. We'll just sit back here and watch the end credits. Alright, so that was a Rocket Knight adventure on normal, no deaths, which makes the run a lot more uh, awesome. I think that's the first time I beat the game without dying, honestly. Played through it last night and only died once, and I uh, thought it'd be a really good one to record for you guys. So, uh, some future games that I'm going to record uh, while Sky's Cursor um, comes in soon. In fact, uh, I might end up putting the blind run of that out first, um, just for the urgency of getting that new content out. Um, probably just going to do quick uh, games like this, uh, Streets of Rage 2, but I don't want to start with 2, so I need to learn how to play 1, which I'm terrible at. So I definitely want to do the Streets of Rage series, especially 2. Um, the Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Sonic 3 and Knuckles being my favorite one, um, probably a lot of Genesis stuff it seems, that's all I'm naming off, <laughs> it's one of my favorite systems. Do want to do some PC Engine stuff, uh, Air Zonk, I'll practice that, do a run of that here sh shortly. Uh, and definitely the original idea was to do a lot of Neo Geo stuff. Uh, so I'll probably play through some of those. Which, Metal Slug 3, I plan on doing a one credit clear video of. two sequels to this uh, game. Um, Sparkster on the Genesis and Sparkster on the Super Nintendo. Both are completely different games. I have Sparkster on the Super Nintendo. I have not played it a lot. Not nearly enough to do a uh, Let's Play on. So as you can tell, it's letting us know that there a hard mode exists, which we are not going to try. At least today. Well, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, you know if you like uh, the content, subscribe and uh, be on the lookout for some more videos.